Hi and welcome. Today we are going to read a passage which is in continuation with the great minds. We have done two personalities and today we are doing the third personality that is J.K. Rowling. The lexile range of this particular passage is between 610 lexile to 800 lexile. Let us begin. There are quite a few words which have been highlighted. Those are particular to either the novel or the text or the writer or difficult words which I will be explaining as we read them. The students are expected to pause the video and read the paragraph and continue. Think of difficult words like wizard, hogwarts and griffondons. The meaning of incredibly over here is massively, he is incredibly, massively successful. And the word platter over here is used for a plate. Rags to riches story means something from being poor to becoming a rich person. Students may pause and read this part of the passage. The word voracious over here means insatiable or hungry for reading more and more, determined to read more. The word bookworm means a person who likes reading a lot. Incredible means Let's read further. Students are expected to pause and read. The word turbulent means unstable. Fell apart means over here the relationship failed or severe. In an instant means within no time or very quickly. Let's read further. Students are expected to pause and read. As we continue, the word persevered means she continued with whatever she was doing. Over here the word manuscript means a finished work of a writer but which is unpublished. Over here a very minor word instant means immediate or very quick popularity. This is colloquial cut to today means initially the passage started with J.K. Rowling being a very famous person. Then it went back into history tracing her from birth to her miseries and then shooting to fame and now that coming back to today that means cut to today it is colloquial that means in day to day conversation it is used but it is not used in formal writing wildly successful over here is used for immensely successful students may pause and read. These are the few of the awards that she had received. Now let's see. 
let's proceed. The questions or the MCQ over here it is applied that means the age was not given directly, her date of birth was given and the the, the, day, the year when her first book was published that was given. The students are expected to subtract and find out the answer. Thanks to Riches. A local comprehension that means within the comprehension whatever is given find an answer and respond next question these kind this kind of question question number four it does not appear in the cbsc question papers but it is a skill builder that means reading for understanding if you have read and understood it correctly you will be able to write true or false for the sentences given over here. If you go wrong over here, that means your reading ability to understand context is slightly shaky. Students may pause, read and record the answers in their notebook. Proceeding further, moving on to the vocabulary, the words given in the left hand side column matches with the explanation in the right hand side column. Now uh, comparing it to the CBSC question, uh, question typology, in the CBSC the questions are given in such a way that the meaning the phrase is given and the student is expected to find a synonym from the passage that means the vocabulary from the passage this exercise is a skill builder it is a controlled exercise where the words and the meanings both are given as match the following so if the students attempt these kind of exercises the student will be able to attempt an uncontrolled that is a CBSC kind of question. Let me read the question, the words for you. Voracious, turbulent, persevered, manuscript, royalty, charmed, donates, compassionate, humble, and poverty. Well, let me take you back to the responses or the options that you have for your response. A. The students may pause and read the responses. B. C and D. Moving on to the responses for E, F, G and H. And then the responses for I and G. Proceeding to the answer key. Now let us check our answers. The answer to the first question is B. That is 32 years of age. The um, response to question number 2 is given with me. Relate directly as per the factual information. You can see that what does she mean by this. That means it is to be, it is to be explained. That is rags to which is just to be explained in one's own words. The sentence may not be exactly as you have constructed your answer. But the meaning will be. The same. Uh, question number three, uh, the inspiration for J.K. Rowling. So it is given that while she was sitting in a train, she got the idea that a child could also have power. And now coming to the true and false, that is the factual information, that how you have understood. If this, um, you have understood it correctly, you would have got the true and false right. Please pause and correct your answers. Moving on to the further to the response. The 
vocabulary. The answer to voracious is H. Let's see what is H over in our list. It is having an intense interest in an activity like reading. Let us go back to uh, 2 that is turbulent. Turbulent, the response is D that is characterized by conflict, challenges, and difficult times. Three is persevered. Let us see what do we have as persevered. That is G. It is achieve success despite difficulties. And then we have a manuscript. Manuscript as given is the I is the answer. Let's see what is I. It is an author's unpublished work. And then we have a royalty. The response answer is B. Let's see what is B. It is the amount of money paid to an author for each book sold. And now let's see what do we have for the next word that is charm. The response is having a magical quality that is E. Uh, donates. The response answer is A. That is gives away money or goods to charity or other good cause. And the next word that we have is uh, compassionate. Compassionate answer is um, J, having sympathy for other people. Uh, from humble is um, answer F. F is having a modest review of one's own self-importance. And the last word that we have is poverty. And the response, the answer for poverty is option C which is the state of being extremely poor. Now let us proceed to the next part that is writing. This is an interesting part that is over here. In this article Great Minds J.K. Rowling you learned that she, the, she was a beloved writer of the Harry Potter series. J.K. Rowling did not achieve instant success and fame with her new icon now or iconic books. Instead, she had uh, to persevere through 12 publishers' rejections and many personal tribulations to achieve tremendous success. As we see that she has gone through bad times. Now let us research about any other author or writer who has gone through bad times and then shot to fame. Now the lines given below write about an author uh, another author who has gone through difficulties before he or she achieved success. With an adult's permission, use internet to research your author. Tell who or she or he or she was. That means the early childhood. First of all, whether the child, suppose we say for example, an Indian writer, an American writer, a British writer, and then what was the person a mystery writer, or wrote fiction, not fiction, root for children or root for adults. Give that kind of introduction. And then was that person in literature? What did, she, what did that person write? And then the obstacle faced by the person usually it is um, instability in life, financial difficulties or maybe family tribulations um, and whatever and then before becoming a successful writer. So you have to select a writer who has gone through different tri um, tribulations in life and then shot to fame. Include the name of the website, that means the title, the web link from where you have taken that piece of information. The um, uh, format to article writing is a heading. Under the heading, write your name, grade and section. Begin with an introduction. The body should have at least five to seven paragraphs and then a conclusion. The word limit is roughly 150 words to 200 words and it is marked on 10 marks for format, content, fluency and accuracy. Thank you so much.